A very good morning everybody. Welcome to my Friday video. You join me looking out towards the Irish Sea and the North Pier. There's the North Pier, there's the sea and the beach which we have all to ourselves. And now you can see a view of the central pier. Previous to starting this video I wish to thank everybody who watches all of them. Thank you very much. Now I have said in the past that this will be hopefully an interesting video. Today I'm almost certain that followers of this little channel of mine will find what I hope to show very very interesting indeed. There has been marvellous progress over the last four days and I'm certain that you will find it interesting. I have. I arrived in town three quarters of an hour ago and I visited all my usual venues and I am amazed at what I have found. I'm leaving Edward Street until last. That may give you a clue. So I'm going to take you to our first venue and once again thanks everybody for watching these videos. I'm going to start now. Bye bye. We are right on the promenade now and our first visit is to the Sands Venue Resort Hotel which you see straight in front of you. Please notice the area of the glass which has been fitted the last couple of days. Coming into view now at the top, the three areas there of glass. Under that, you will see black cladding. Now, I'm, I don't wish to get technical because otherwise I will make mistakes. I make enough of those as it is. So the black cladding is also known, I'm told, as curtain walling. So I'm going to keep it nice and simple. So I'd like to show you the glass windows again and this black cladding, which forms the facade of this build. This is how it will look at the end. This will be the facade of the whole of the build. I have just crossed the road and you can see two contractors on the crane there. They've been lifted up and they will attend to another fitting of some glass. Now this is our usual view from the front to the rear. Please notice the extension which has grown over the last three or four days since our last visit and also all this large all the large glass windows here waiting to be lifted up and hoisted up to the front of the build
we are walking up the first of two sides to this build. This is the side closest to the amusement arcade where the extension is taking place and have a look at this rapid progress look at this extension now virtually the whole length of this side and we can see more of those glass windows there There's a complete tour of the first of two sides. And now a view of the rear of this build. And you will probably see several gangs at work on the scissor lifts. One of the gangs now coming down. Oh, he stopped again. We are now looking at a view of the second side of this build. The one closest to Blackpool Tower. It's a marvellous morning here I'm so pleased with the weather. We've had a very, very severe frost, which means that we now have what I call morning sunlight. I'm very pleased with that for the simple reason is we've had two or three days of quite constant rain. So there's a view. I'm going to show you now how this build has completely opened up. You can see completely right through from one side to the other now. And with this view here, we end our visit to our first venue, which was the Sands venue resort hotel we have arrived at our second venue which is the site of the premier inn and you can see there's one forklift being driven in and there's another one here waiting to unload something from the lorry Lots and lots going on here. There's that nice hoist there. And I can just move out into the road safely as obviously no traffic can pass. And you can see the forklift now taking in all the supplies here. There we are, that's, that's being taken in, which will allow now for the traffic to restart in a couple of moments.
and in front now hopefully you will see some of the contractors placing facing bricks the facing bricks now must must well I think they must reach about two or three stories have just been told these are fire doors just arrived this morning oh that's handy we can even see the hoist now that's being sent up That's going right to the very top. And this is a view of the front of the build of this Premier Inn. And hopefully you can see that lovely sandstone. With a view of the artist impression of the finish of this build of the Premier Inn, we finish our visit this morning to this site. Our next venue in front the Winter Gardens and just turning to my left Abingdon Street Market this is our next venue Abingdon Street and then from there we proceed what we now know as the Brook lovely Dean's Gate and Edward Street just walk you along now to where all the work is taking place in Abingdon Street. The extension of the pavements and also awaiting the arrival of the new bus shelters. Here we are, this is where we start. Now this is impressive, beautiful pavement areas now, very very nice indeed. There's the shops across the road and as you can see the road is still open. They've been able to keep the road half open. <laughs> and you can see progress here of all the lovely paving flagstones, as I will call them. And this is where the all the bus shelters will appear as well. All new bus shelters due here. And this is all I can show you of Abingdon Street. So now we approach now our last venues, which as I said at, in my introduction, I'm certain you will be amazed at the progress here wonderful progress at the sites we have already visited yes tremendous progress however what has happened here is really really very impressive especially Edward Street well we start here
walking up here lots and lots of contractors about and over the other side of the road you can see that the area of the pavement all finished And there's two days left of this month and as I've said this has to be finished the middle of next month and I can tell you that really it's just the tarmacking of the road and another couple of issues that remain. Now this is the first point of interest that I would like to show you. Now recently I have shown you seating areas. The seating areas looked like three tons in weight of concrete blocks. Now look at what's happened. This has happened within the last two days. There's the concrete slabs as I will call them but now however look there's wooden seating areas here and how nice is that? A front and an actual back. So you have proper seating here now. Now there's Edward Street, I'm not going to show you anything of that until later. Morning, 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 morning everybody, morning. And there's a, look, doesn't that look nice, this new seating area? Oh, that makes a world of difference, an absolute world of difference. <laughs> Going to cross over now, as you can see, and just show you another area of a front of a shop that is waiting the new pavement slabs. You can see what's happened with the Green Cafe. Now they have a complete new pavement in front of them. We saw this on Sunday. Oh, that's what you We saw this on Sunday. It's all been completed now, and the contractors have worked now down to outside sun seekers to provide them with new pavement area. And again, we're right on top of these new seating areas. Are you making a move? A move? Oh, yeah. Hey, fucking not, guys. Yes, we're right opposite the Green Cafe now. And coming now right to the end. Another caged area here. and all the pavement area across the other side all completed now so as I've said once the tarmac arrives to complete the road surface I think they'll nearly be there obviously there will be dribs and drabs still to do but however that will be the the large proportion of the rem of the remaining work I have just reversed a few paces and now I would like 
to take you down Edward Street. The start of Edward Street right in front of you now. And we start our walk along now this very, very impressive area. The pavement areas on either side all completed. There's the lay-by there that you hopefully be able to to see. And there's the gentleman's grooming emporium across the road, handsome. And we start now. Light. No. to an area that I would like to show you. Can you see what's in front of you? A tree. Yes, the trees have been planted here. And there's another one here. In fact, two. What an interesting street this is now. Two new trees with the cages around them to protect them. And across the road, we see all the properties and the offices within. Please remember that this week we have not had very good weather here, lots and lots of rain. So from my last video, which was on a Sunday, all this was done. In actual fact, it was done over Wednesday and Thursday, as I see it Monday and Tuesday. Wonderful job. Oh, look, some more trees. Oh, there's two over here and one across the other side of the road. How quaint it really is. And lovely, lovely properties across the road. As I've said in the past, they received a coat of paint. World of difference. So we have new pavement areas, a road awaiting the tarmac gangs, and now these trees with also the new seating areas there's the wooden frames to them now so they're not just ugly looking blocks they are now proper seats look at that a little area over there still to be laid but that won't take long well we are now at the end of Edward Street and also I am now at the end of this video which I hope you have enjoyed I have enjoyed making it ever so much and do as I said thank everybody who watches these videos very much now I'm off home now to edit this and upload it to YouTube thanking everybody again for watching all these videos and I wish you a wonderful day this Friday the 29th of November 2019 with wonderful wonderful progress at all the venues that we visit have a wonderful day bye bye